sound check. My name is Bo, B-O, last name is Han, H-A-N. And uh, I'm with the Occupy, the walking occupation, uh, Walkupy. You can check us out at walkupy.org, W-A-L-K-U-P-Y.org. Um, you know, life is a trip. That's the only thing I can come up with. Uh, there's opportunities in our lives, and uh, uh, it's like we have a choice of either taking that opportunity and running with it or, or letting it pass us by and you know um, I've always been inclined to, to, to hang out hang out with people that are older than me or that have more experience than me and that's the thing that that resonates in all the stories that they tell is that they had these opportunities that would pass them by and I remember there was an op opportunity for me when I was living in Atlanta I'm born and raised in Atlanta but I lived everywhere from the East Coast to the West Coast and uh, I was living in Atlanta and I was heard about this thing called the Brooklyn Bridge incident uh, with the Occupy Wall Street movement and uh, I didn't really know what it was about I just remember I was on Yahoo or whatever and it came up I read a little article blurb about it and uh, it planted a seed in me and there was an opportunity where uh, three of us were gonna take a bus ride up to New York and, and do a little project or whatever. And uh, I was working at a really high-end restaurant in Atlanta making really good money. I was happy where I was at. And uh, I put in my two-week notice after I met these two people. They're really strangers, really. And uh, we made these plans to go up to New York and uh, interview people at Occupy Wall Street. So I put in my two-week notice and, uh, and I got my bus ticket to uh, go up to New York. Packed up everything, sold everything I had. And uh, the night before I was supposed to leave, I get a text message from both of them almost at the same time where they're saying something came up. Uh, one of them had to do, uh, I got the film rights for the, 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 the Troy Davis uh, story. Another one was doing another project with some hip hop thing in Atlanta. And uh, I got that text message the night before I was supposed to leave to New York and uh, went to sleep, woke up the next morning and uh, bought my $100 bus ticket and was, uh, was out in Zuccotti Park the next day. And, uh, you know, that decision really catapulted me into other opportunities and about two weeks after me being in Zuccotti Park, there was an opportunity for me to march and uh, there was something in my gut that was saying, do it, do it. And uh, I didn't really understand what it was, but it was a decision that was made uh, 24 hours prior to the march even leaving and uh, it was probably the best decision I ever made. Uh, along this route from New York to DC, it was a 240 mile march, we met all kinds of people. And these people were, were rich, these people were poor, these people were somewhere in the middle, these people were people. And we met supporters, we met other occupa occup occup occupations and people that were occupying in public spaces. And it convinced enough of us that when we completed the march in D.C., we started this second march, which is almost the second leg of the trip from Washington, D.C. to Atlanta, Georgia. And now we're in Occupy Raleigh in Raleigh, North Carolina, the, the state capital of North Carolina. And uh, there was an incident where we were marching and this was nothing planned, where we were just marching to the state capitol building uh, with three other occupations in the area, triangle area of North Carolina, uh, Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill. We were marching about two blo blocks prior to uh, Occupy Raleigh's encampment where uh, the police of North Carolina came and uh, forcibly moved us away off the street and onto the curb. And uh, there were several people that were persistent and not moving. And uh, there was one in, one in particular, her name was Sarah. She's been marching since D New York with us. And uh, she ha was holding the American flag and she looked like Lady Liberty being arrested by the police, police department. And it was the most thrilling and thing I've ever seen. She was holding the flag and while she was holding the flag, she, they pulled her arm behind her back and, and handcuffed this one. They, you know, they made her drop the flag on the ground and pulled her hand around the back and arrested her this way. They threw her onto the ground, three cut police officers on her with their knees on her back, pressing onto her neck. And it was just, that image is tattooed into my brain now. And it's just, it's, it symbolizes America at this moment. You know, Lady Liberty is being arrested. And, and who is to blame? Well, we're, there's, fingers are being pointed everywhere. And, and, and I'm not, everyone has their opinion on it, but I just look at it like, are we going to keep letting this happen? Are we going to continue letting this be the norm? And if this trip from DC to Atlanta is a testament to any more proof that we could need, we've met even more people that feel the same way, that they're sick and tired of watching, they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Lady Liberty is getting arrested and no one's doing anything about it. 
There's Occupy movements, there's the 99%, and we are doing something about it. And uh, my urge and my call is this, there's a, here's our call. As, as someone that's marched almost 500 miles and about to march another 500 to get into Atlanta, here's our call. And we wanna hear a response is, let's do something. Are you ready? Are you ready to do something with us? You know, because for us to include everyone in this 99%, it also means you, the, the viewer, you, the listener, you, the watcher, you, the, you, and you, you know, our call is, are you ready? And we want to hear your response. What is your response? And we, we want you to know that there's people out here who are in cold weather, who are camping, who are walking 17 to 25 miles a day, not knowing where we're going to sleep the next night, not knowing how we're going to get fed. And when people miraculously it call comes together from supporters and, 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 and the like. And we're just wondering if you are ready, come join us.